from the aviation space we're in conversation with Salil Gupte who is the Boeing president for India Salil always a pleasure speaking to you thank you so much for taking up the time and joining us Great to be uh, here. let's talk about the occasion where we're joining you today which is the 10th anniversary as far as the PAs are concerned I want to first talk to you as far as the partnership between India and United States how do you see India being positioned uh, going forward as a defense market well you know, this is the P8 is a great example of this, or an illustration of this partnership. India was actually the first international operator of the P8 with the P8I 10 years ago, and has proven, and the P8 has proven to be a tremendously reliable, useful tool uh, in, in in India's capability uh, for maritime patrol. And so, as we go forward, Indian industry uh, is going to be a larger and larger part of the story as well, because while India Indian industry has played a large role to this point in both the manufacturing of the P-8 and the MRO, the sustainment of the P-8. I think there's lots more opportunities for Indian industry going forward. I'll give you an example. For MRO, for the P-8, um, our partner here in India, Airworks, did the heavy maintenance checks for the first eight P-8Is that India took, uh, and they just completed all of those in the last few months with world-class quality, according to not only the Indian Navy, but also according to the U.S. Navy. Yeah. And so I think that just shows you what Indian industry is capable of, and it'll just give a fill-up to the partnership in the years to come. Salil, you spoke about India being the first international partner outside the United for the United States as far as uh, the P8s are concerned. I also want to understand going forward, how do you see the P8s adding to the maritime security as far as India's positioning is concerned? Well, you know, everyone recognizes that the neighborhood that India is in, in the Indo-Pacific, is an evolving, dynamic situation. Uh, the threat environment continues to change. And in that environment, you need extremely flexible tools. There are specialty tools for maritime patrol that have been discussed for India, for other countries, that some might be manned, some might be unmanned. But the advantage of the P-8 is its flexibility, is its ability for blue water operations, for anti-submarine warfare operations, but also for, for intelligence, for surveillance, for reconnaissance operations over land as well. And that is an unmatched capability that really only the P-8 can offer India or any other country. And that's why it's such a critical tool, because you can use it not just to support your naval operations, but much, much more. Yeah. Just last couple of questions, Salil. One, I want to understand in terms of the adding of the P8s. Uh, if I understand this correctly, it's going to be 12 plus 6. Do we have a timeline for these? Well, of course, that'll be up to the Navy's requirements and the Navy's timeline. Uh, I think once the Navy firms up what its requirements are um, and we're able to move forward there, then we'll have a better sense for when we would be able to deliver according to their specifications. Earlier in your address, you spoke about Atmanirbhar Bharat. How is Boeing India adding to the manufacturing capabilities going forward, adding to this landscape? Well, we're very proud to be by far and away the leaders in Atmanir Bharata for defense exports, for even civil aviation, aerospace exports in general. We comprise somewhere about 40% of the exports of all foreign OEMs from India today. Uh, and that is the, the 10,000 crores per annum that, we are, uh, that we're working towards, of which two-thirds or so is manufacturing. You know, there's a lot of people who will take credit for some services work they do here. You know, most of ours is manufacturing. Um, and so we do that in a few ways. One is the skilling that we talked about earlier. Broad-based skilling to make sure that India has the highest levels of capabilities with our supplier partners. Two is working with all sorts of Indian companies. So yes, we work with some of the giants, like our partners at Tata, with whom we have a joint venture in Hyderabad. But we also work with the MSMEs. Out of our 300 supplier partners in India, 60 of them, yeah. more than 60, probably 70 of them now, are MSMEs. Yeah. And those MSMEs are going to be the next great generation yeah. of Indian uh, suppliers in aerospace. So you have to do all of that supplier development work to ensure that India has the capability for the next decade and for the years to come after that.
My last question, uh, Salil, speaking specifically as far as Boeing India is concerned, when we spoke last, you did give me an update as far as where the pending orders stand. But one of the concerns with these mega orders that are being placed are the shortfall as far as pilots are concerned. And that seems to be becoming a reality with more and more airlines. Would you want to comment on that? How real is that concern? Yeah, I think I think there are certain parts of the world where you know where pilots are where the supply demand situation for pilots uh, is is more um, is more in scrutiny than others. I think you've seen a lot about it reported in India. I would say that over the past few months we've announced that we're going to try to do everything we can to ramp up pilot pools. Uh, for our fleets uh, in India. We've announced just a few months ago a hundred million dollar investment in hard infrastructure and curriculum to develop pilots in India for the Indian market and, and beyond. Uh, and we're going to see those that infrastructure come into India by the end of this year and into early next year. Uh, I think that's going to be a big step towards alleviating some of the supply demand imbalance that you see in pockets of the world like India. Perfect. Salil, always a pleasure speaking to you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for taking our time.